It's time for you all to see the big picture. What is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. So sadly, we are approaching the very end of Women's History Month. If you've been tuning into my channel, you would know that I've been posting tons of women-related content all month long up on my channel, up on my socials if you haven't hit those up yet. But basically, this whole month has been a wonderful celebration of all things female. I mean, if it were up to me, I would make every month Women's History Month. I don't know why it isn't already, because like, Pose get things done. But anyway, to round off this month's festivities, I thought I would talk about sort of a little talked about subject, especially in this scene. And that is the issue with the lack of female photographers in this scene. So, lack, more like prominence, because there's tons of female photographers. Like you go on Instagram, you go on Tumblr, you go on Twitter, Facebook, like there's tons out there but most of the time they don't get enough exposure because bands will typically resort to male photographers because the band members are male and they're just bros being bros and you know, what? Wh where do the women fit in? They just don't. So today I am here to shed a light on some amazing female photographers in this scene. I have a list of 10 here. It was really hard to narrow this down. There's a lot of talent out there. Firstly, before I start this video, I would like to give a special shout out to my friend Rebecca who helped me compile this list. You can follow her photography stuff over at Where's Beck's Photo on Instagram. She's on Twitter. Just hit her up. She's really great. Thank you so much, Rebecca. So to kick off this list, we have a woman named Bridget Craig. She is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She's photographed like everybody. Like Tillian Pearson from Dance Gavin Dance, Stand Atlantic, O Weatherly, Tides of Man, Silverstein, basically you name it, she's done it. She shot them right in the face. Her style could best be described, in my opinion, as like candid. Everything she does, while it is very beautifully framed, it's very like much you're there. Like it's very in the moment. She's also previously contributed photos to Do 512 in Austin, which if you don't know, is a what to do site for the local area. Aside from her live music work, she also specializes in video, documentary work, and portraits. Probably her most ambitious project thus far is what she's currently doing. She is currently on tour with the band I the Mighty, and she she also does their tour update videos. Now I just want to say this to start, not every single photographer on this list is going to be a touring photographer. First of all, it's very, very difficult to find someone who does that specifically because I feel like as a photographer, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades and be flexible. It's really like that for any artist, unfortunately. You basically just take any opportunity that comes your way at face value. There's not really a specific profession for tour photographer. Like it's usually a freelance thing, so it's really great to see her on a full tour. If you want to check out her stuff, she has a website at BridgetCraig.com and also Instagram slash Bridget N. Craig. Next up, we have Kristen Drum. She is from Nashville, Tennessee. Banshee's photograph. Third Eye Blind, Blink-182, All Time Low, Dashboard Confessional, CKY, must I really go on here? More recently, it also appears from her social media that she seems to be focusing on country musicians as well. That's what I mean. Like, if you're gonna be a music photographer, you better be prepared to photograph bands. You better be prepared to photograph solo singers. You might be photographing orchestras. Like, you really don't know. She was recently interviewed by the blog Artist Waves in 2018 about her three favorite photographs. If you wanna hit up her social. She has a Facebook at slash Kristen Drum photo as well as an Instagram slash Kristen Drum. She also appears to do a lot of portrait work from her social and it seems like she also has a young baby. So if you want to go see some cute baby photos, be sure to go hit her up as well. We stand moms in the scene. Next up, we have, funny enough, a woman by the name of Amanda Fotez. Get it, Fotez? Photos. I mean, her fate was pretty much written in the stars, in my opinion. That's just that's just my take. She is from Toronto, Canada. She tends to focus a lot more bands in the indie punk scene. So by that, I mean Pup, The Dirty Nil, No Bro, Charlie Bliss, Death Cab for Cutie, pretty much anything under that umbrella. She also appears to specialize in high contrast black and white photography, which Seems like it's easy, but really it's not. The one difficult thing about black and white photography that I've personally experienced is that the contrast can often be torqued up way too high where features appear to be washed out. Some people like that. 
but most of the time it just looks too stark. She also likes to play around with her camera angles a lot. Like for example, in this photo, she has split the photograph. So it kind of gives like this visual effect where it's like you're on the ceiling. If you would like to go check out her work, she has a website at amandafotes.com or instagram.com slash amandafotes. Next up on my list, we are taking a trip down under to visit Kerry Geyer. She is from Adelaide, Australia. Naturally being from Oceania, she's photographed a lot of Australian and Asian bands. Some of the bands she's photographed are One OK Rock, Set It Off, The Prodigy, Jessie J, Alice Cooper, like, again, she does it all. She also photographs a lot of dance performances, which is really cool because, first of all, dance is extremely hard to photograph because you're basically having to capture a moment in motion. It's extremely difficult, so kudos to her for even doing that. I mean, her work is just very cool. The way she frames it, the way it's lit, like everything is just very ornamental in a way. I didn't think I'd be using that word today, but it's very like almost decorated. She has a very good sense of celebration in her photos. She's also been featured in multiple publications across the continent of Australia. If you'd like to go check out her work, her website is kerrygeyer.com or instagram.com slash kerrygeyer. Reaching the halfway point here, we have a photographer by the name of Maggie London. She is based out of New York, New York, hometown pride. But unlike me, it looks like she's doing a lot more at her young age than I ever could have possibly done because she's photographed bands like The Main, Mayday Parade, Simple Plan, The Used, Green, day for frick's sake. Like she's really just out here living the life I wish I lived. Her work has been featured in numerous publications, including New Noise Magazine, Pure Grain Audio, Rolling Stone, Lady Gun, and beyond. From her entire catalog, it doesn't appear that she focuses on one particular genre, although she does photograph a lot of scene favorites. Her website is Maggie London Photo, that's L-N-D-N photo.com or Instagram slash Maggie London Photo. Next up, we have Jasmine Marceau. She is based out of Kent and London in England. Now from her entire portfolio, it appears that she's really trying to focus on photographing female fronted bands, which is awesome because listen, it's hard out here. In the words of Lily Allen, it's hard out here for a bitch. She's photographed New Year's Day, Against the Current, Lacuna Coil, Infected Rain, Sleeping with Sirens. I mean, I'm willing to accept the fact that Kellen's like an honorary woman. Sorry, man. Love that band, but it's just the vocals. I promise you. She also tends to primarily focus on metal artists as well as shoots for an online publication called the Mind Noise Network. In addition, she is also the co-creator of Dual Vision Design, which is her own company. Her work is just very dramatic. That's what I most appreciate about her work is that everything has a main focal point. It's colorful, but not too colorful. It's a bit on the muted side. And then there's just a lot of contrast. Look at me using all of these big refined art terms to get my point across. I did not go to four years of art school for nothing. I promise you that. If you'd like to view her work, her website is jasminemarceaucreative.com or instagram.com slash jasminemarceau. Next up is a photographer named Mary Nichols. She is from Memphis, Tennessee. She predominantly photographs Christian rock bands. Now, there's a reason I wanted to include her on this list, and that's because, like, how many Christian rock photographers do you know, let alone ones that are women? For me, it's, th it's this many. And two, I mean, I'm not religious, so if any of this sounds inaccurate, please feel free to let me know in the comments. But I feel like the Christian community is not necessarily strict, but very traditional in a lot of ways. And I feel like being a women photographer in this particular scene as a Christian is just very frowned upon to do anything related to metal and hard rock, even if it is Christian themed. Anyway, she has photographed bands like Skillet, The Devil Wears Prada, Thousand Foot Crutch, Switchfoot, Disciple, much, much more. She's also photographed for Rock On Purpose and is the co-editor of the Pure Rock Report. She is also the former content coordinator of New Release Today. Again, if you'd like to check out her work, her work is at marynickel.me or instagram.com slash marynickel. Okay, the next two names on this list are both based out of LA. If you are a female photographer in this scene, and you don't know who either of these women are, you really need to like step up your research because these people are everywhere. So first up we have Ashley Osborne. Not only does she photograph a lot of bands in this scene, but she's also photographed Kesha, 
Paris, Saint, Water Parks, Palais Royale. Some of her biggest clients include Vans, Apple Music, several record labels, iHeart Media. Like she's crushing the game right now. She's also shot countless album covers as well as magazine covers for both Rock Sound and Alternative Press. Also, one of her most notable career points was serving as the head photographer on Yellow Card's Farewell Tour. So she's honestly killing it. Her website is ashleyosborne.com or instagram.com slash ashleyosborne. The second to last photographer on this list, who is Beth Saravo. Let me give you some names, ready? She's photographed Billie Eilish, The Struts, Grayscale, Machine Gun Kelly, Youngblood. Every day she's photographing somebody new and prolific. She is the owner of her own photography company called Baith since 2017. She was also the winner of the 2014 Relics Crowd Series and the 2016 B&H Artist Portrait Awards. I mean, if you really need more proof of how awesome this girl is, she also photographed the Super Bowl. Her work is at bethsaravo.com or instagram.com slash baith. And finally on this list, we have a European photographer out of Cologne, Germany. Her name is Caroline Schaefer. She seems to focus her craft on a lot of metalcore and indie bands, which as we all know, are basically twins. What? She photographs under the Elias Cat Eye Photography. She is the head photographer at Morecore and a photographer at All Schools, two German online publications. And on top of that, she also does part-time work in merchandising. So she's really just doing everything. You can find her work at facebook.com slash cat eye photography g-e-r for germany or instagram.com slash cat eye photography and that is everyone on this list i really hope you got some inspiration for this list if you are looking to go into band photography it is a very small niche just be prepared for that but it is very worthwhile and fulfilling if you can do well at it once again guys i am always happy to promote some of the amazing women in this scene if you're watching this and you are a young lady yourself thank you for being here if it wasn't for you guys, we would have nothing to talk about, which needs to be talked about. Please tell everyone you know about the amazing women in your scene, myself included. Boost each other up, be a support system for each other. Do not try to bring anyone else down. We're all in this together. We're all fighting this battle together. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like below. Who is your favorite photographer on this list? Make sure to tell me in the comment section. Also, if you're new to my channel, hello, how's it going? Make sure to hit the garbage out of that subscribe button. Also hitting the bell icon next to it to get the first notice of when my videos go up. I upload each Thursday to all of my subs who have been here before. Bless you. Thank you so much for being here. It really means so much to me. And with that, I am going to go hope that we survive another month of the hellhole that has been 2020 so far. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!